Oh, hi. It's Rob. And I'm in the kitchen again today. No surprise there. Uh, I found something at the store that I wanted to try, and I figured I'd uh, take you along for the ride. So yes, indeed, this is the Impossible Burger. Uh, it is entirely plant-based. Now, I know that I've had this in a uh, fast food Burger King Whopper, I think, and um, it's it wasn't bad. I was kind of impressed at how good it actually tasted. But that's in a fast food burger. I want to try this on my own and cook it and see if I can actually get it to taste reasonably close to a burger. Okay, here we go. Alright, that even looks like an approximation of hamburger meat. Doesn't smell quite the same, but... Hmm. Yeah, it does come with instructions on the back, but they're pretty much the same as cooking a burger. I want to give this the best possible chance, so I am going to add a little bit of spice. This is some roasted garlic and herbs. I'm also going to add uh, a little bit of liquid smoke just to give it a little bit of the flavor and some of the kitchen bouquet browning and seasoning sauce just because I want to give this the best chance I can this is the way that I think it's probably going to be the best Okay, it definitely does not feel like ground beef. Um, it is definitely grainy. And you can feel individual bits of uh, something. Definitely softer than beef. It doesn't stick, as, stick together quite as well. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it definitely does not feel the same. And I'm going to use a burger mold because uh, I think that might help uh, a little bit. I'm afraid these aren't going to hold together quite well. Uh, I could be wrong find out, but they definitely are uh, not as not as together as ground beef. Or most ground meats for that matter. Ever made a turkey burger or a chicken burger? This is definitely a different texture. Right, so we get not quite four of these little beasties. And I'm going to do with this is pop this in the freezer for a little bit so that it firms up and they can make for a little bit harder patties a little bit easier to uh, work with on the on the uh, in the pan.
So hey, it's Rob, and through the magic of video editing, I'm coming to you from a couple hours in the future. Certainly not, you know, the next day or anything. Uh, Alright, let's get these buddies out of the refrigerator. Okay. Uh, I had these in the freezer for quite a while. Um, took them out and put them in the refrigerator to hopefully help to retain their shape a little bit. Uh, I want to get them out in one piece as much as I can. Yeah, that one didn't go so well. Yeah. So yeah, these should probably be uh, frozen and a little stiffer if you're actually trying to make them. But okay, we got some. We got three that are reasonably. Uh, reasonably similar, so I guess we'll take those and cook those up. Pan, medium heat. I um, want to go a little bit lower on these than I would with actual actual beef burgers. And I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil. I like grapeseed oil because it's a nice high smoke point oil, so it doesn't smoke nearly as much as it could when you know you're using something like olive oil. Okay, pan's heated up, I believe, to a good point. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, we got the sizzle. That's what we're looking for. Okay, immediately I can tell that they smell different while cooking. They actually smell a little bit more like sausage. Now, there is definitely a different aroma to these when they're cooking. It's You can tell there's something missing. They don't smell bad, but you know that they're not real meat. Well, they do brown up nicely. They very much want to stick. Okay, uh, we're gonna try making up a burger. Let's see what I want to put on this. Let's just go with the basics. Okay, gonna try it. It's not bad. Not great. All right, so the big question, is it something I would do again? Considering that I got a pound of the Impossible Burger for not quite eight dollars, 
um, and the taste is not quite on what I was expecting. I would say I'm probably not going to do this again in the near future. Um, that being said, the addition of the liquid smoke and the kitchen bouquet to help with some of the flavor and the addition of the spices was a very good idea. Piper is wanting something. Um, so probably won't do it again, but I'm surprised at how good it is, considering that it's uh, entirely plant-based. It's a little more sausagey than hamburgery, which is not a bad thing. There is a slightly odd taste to it that I don't particularly like, but it's also not super... Uh, it's not super bad. I mean, if I was to grab one of these as a burger, um, after a night of heavy drinking or something like that, it would probably be just fine. Um, I tend to like my burgers made of beef. Um, it's just the way I am. So, anyway, wouldn't try it again. It's a little too expensive right now, maybe in the future when the price comes down or the price of beef goes insane. It might be a more viable option. I haven't tried anything like meatballs. Piper wants attention, uh, but it'd be interesting to try. I'm not going to do it. I'll come up with some other stuff. Right. See you guys. She likes the little fuzzy thing on the microphone. Mm.